Uh, honestly, yes. However, let me clarify something. Do am I? I I feel like the older that I'm getting, I'm washing them away. Why? Because I'm getting older. I want a man who well, loves me 23? openly. You're 23. Yeah, you're 23. You got, but you got like, plenty honestly, of time to to well, no. sow okay. the wild oats. Let's be. Is that how that goes? Let's spill the tea real know. quick, okay? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's spill the tea. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good, guys. We're going to be reacting to. Mm. Guys, this is Golas. Um, she says she gets ninety percent of men. This should be interesting, guys. Let's go on to this. Quite, wait, question for you. Um, so you previously described yourself as a certified bad bitch. Bad bitch. Twenty-four-seven. Do you days off? Do you like slay? Like you got mad bitches because you're a certified bad bitch. Can I? Do you got mad? <laughs> no, I feel like I'm somewhat retired. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let, me finish, let me finish before I can before I answer. Of course, you know, of course. I'm sorry. Do you get mad? Bitches? As in, like. And by the way, are you? Do you who do you go for? Who do you go, guys who, or girls? Guys, girls, or both. both. I like boys. I you like, like men. Okay, you like men. I'm actually, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. Because when I drink, like, I'm, I'm personally like, I don't like vagina, but like, I'm down to play with some ass and titties. Like, that's okay. fun. All right. That's yeah. why I asked Kiko. <laughs> Get it. Okay. That's why I asked Kiko. So, about your sexuality. So, really. like, I don't know. I kind of get the impression. Like, I feel like you got game. So, like, do you get mad bitches? Uh, honestly, yes. However, let me clarify something. Do, am I, I, I feel like the older that I'm getting, I'm washing them away. Why? Because I'm getting older. I want a man who well, loves me 23? openly. You're 23. Yeah, you're 23. You got, but you like, got plenty honestly, of time to, to but, no. sow okay. the wild oats. Let's be, Is that how that goes? Let's spill the tea real quick, okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> let's spill the tea. My experiences from dating are way more different than theirs. I'm a trans girl. Like, men, honestly, like, it's so fucking rare that you ever even find a guy that's being like, let me take you out. Let's go see a movie. Let's go have dinner. No, they're just trying to. Fuck. I'm they a fetish. Want. I'm a fetish to like ninety eight percent of those guys. You know. So my thing right now is like, okay, yeah, sexually I can probably have whatever the fucking guy I want to. You sure? But about that? <laughs> no, honestly, like there has not. I'm gonna be one hundred percent honest. Like if I genuinely like that guy, or if I like, oh, like you know. There's nothing. The, yeah. Not yeah. Sorry. Um. So Sorry. like if I'm attracted to them sexually, like there's I've ninety like ninety five percent of the time I'll get it. However, I'm getting to a certain age now, like a level of maturity, where it's like, okay, sex is just sex at this point. I want intimacy and I want it outside of closed doors. Yep. You want uh something that's not shallow and superficial. You want more than just sex. Yeah, like yeah. I, 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 I yep. Like I crave intimacy. Like and honestly, like I that's something that I want long term. And, and I'm I'm at a level of maturity. Like I said, I'm clearing the fucking roster. I don't give a fuck if you're huh. a fucking football player, if you know so and so person, if you know <laughs> X, Y, and Z. Like I don't give a fuck, like Cle clearing the roster. What do you mean by by that? Do you have confirm do you have, or deny? Do you have, do you have blue checks there a roster? in your DMs? Yes. Are you just running through famous dudes. I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not going to be like talking like, yeah, I have hundreds, but I have like a good amount. But you said a roster. So like, what question for you, what's the most amount of people that you've dated? All at once? All at once. Like in rotation? Sh same time, rotation, however um, you want to. Honestly, like three. In oh, rotation. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. No, like I'll have men. I'm like, okay, this one's annoying me. Like, okay, it's time to clear his ass. I'm going to bench this person right there. <laughs> Do Benched. you meet men so, like, through dating apps out here? Honestly, <laughs> can I go okay, So I did the dating app thing. Like I said, it was a full fetish. Like, that's all it was. So I Did you put it on up. your... Sorry. So how did... Do they know that you're trans? Yes. That's what I was going to ask. 100%. Do you put it out there? I don't care how passable you are. I feel like you have to disclose. Respect. Respect. And this is why. Very because important. Because they're especially, like... Ding. Like, like, there's, like... Okay, let's say I go out on a guy and the... Sec and honestly, you know, I'm going to talk about this right now. At my, at my job... Do it. Let's go. No, at my job... 
I had an experience with an old coworker. I'm not gonna say my my what I what my real Say his is. full name. No. no. <laughs> What's his social? I'm not gonna say his name. <laughs> but I I got offended because long story short, he basically said that if he went on like a a date with a trans girl, he didn't know that she was trans, and she is like a baddie like i'm talking ass titties like operating you can even <laughs> tell like this is the baddest bitch and he found out that she was trans he yes. said that he would feel the need to bring out his skin oh exactly so, that's so a issue, it's yeah. a safety issue like yeah. it doesn't matter what you are like i feel like you can be the most cuntiest like fucking bad bitchery like passable girl i feel like you have to disclose and i get it some girls like i kind of come to a pride thing too with trans girls it's like well i worked so hard to get to my womanhood and blah blah blah, blah. i get that and i fully respect it like whatever you want to be still but when it comes to a man and especially in dating and this like i said this is my opinion and, and like if any other like trans girls are watching, like, if any other trans girls are watching any of the dolls are watching hit my dms because and if i'm saying something that's misinforming educate me because i'm totally open to that but i feel like when you're one of the dolls you have to disclose when it comes to dating because this is how there's things like violence you know x y and z this is how trans girls like end up in sticky situations nine times out of ten because they don't disclose however i will say though that being in the social scene i can walk into a bar and i'm the most confident bitch ever a man will still go out of his way and these are the Thanks. ones that i'm talking about that are like little closets or whatever you want to call them be like tranny I, I agree. <laughs> I've heard I've heard the same thing yeah. from some of my friends. They're like, but if I found what? out, because I went to Thailand and they're like, bro, like the lady boys, whatever. <laughs> I didn't do anything. No, oh, that, no I mean, but they're they like, if I if I found us. out that because a lot of them are really believable, like they get their no, Adam's gorgeous. apple shaved down, they get their <laughs> like they get everything <laughs> Fine, done. Bro. And yeah. I've heard the same thing <laughs> from like a couple of my friends. They're like, yeah, like I'm like I'm swing if I find out that. <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, I think I'm going to agree with what Golok said, but basically, I'm just going to point out, like, really, really brief, because um, this was just a really fun thing to react to. I love the whatever podcast. Like, people should watch the podcast, like, join their lives. Guys, like, it's interesting. There's a lot of things on this table, like, a lot of things. Even the things you don't want to hear, you're going to hear it on this table. But basically... If you're a trans person and you want to get serious, you want to date someone because you, you don't just want sex, but you want that intimacy, you crave it and you want to date someone, it's really advisable that you disclose to the person that, okay, I'm a trans woman, I'm a trans man, like, let them know, let them know, because I saw this video on TikTok, I don't know, you were trending one time, the, there was someone who goes around interviewing some people and then he saw this couple and he just wanted to talk to them and they were talking and then the girl, I don't know what he asked, I can't really remember but the girl opened to the guy, they've been dating for years, I, I think he even engaged her so, so well then she opened to the guy that um, she's a trans, she's a trans woman and my bro was shocked he was you know this feeling where everything just rushes into your head like i'm doing an eye like that's how he felt at that point he was shocked he was pained he was angry he was frustrated like everything boom all at once i <laughs> like i felt his pain i felt his pain and i just like you've been dating this person for years and you're just finding this out and he's probably the kind of person that doesn't support you know the whole transgender movement and probably irritated by them and then the bitch in your corner is the same mm -mm. like he was pain and i could feel his pain but guys basically you should let them know what you are so that they accept you for who you are that way you don't get to have issues at all but guys this was interesting and this was interesting and i'm going to keep coming up with more 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 of the whatever podcast clip so far you guys like that so don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and you guys know i love you all